It's been said there's a bar on every corner of South Boston, not far off. In Southie, there are 70 liquor licenses, nearly 7% of Boston's total. But this may be the most interesting one. The sign says South Boston Liquor Mart, but in the neighborhood it's known as Stippo's. Last June 2nd, three people bought this property. Police officials link two out of the three to organized crime, and the third is the mother of a reputed organized crime figure. The three people are James J. Whitey Bulger, Kevin Weeks, and Mary I. Flemmy, the mother of Stevie the Rifleman Flemmy. In the words of federal prosecutors, Whitey Bulger and Stevie Flemmy are totally violent, dangerous, lifetime criminals, and Kevin Weeks is basically a front for Stevie and Whitey. During the recent trial of the Angelo organized crime family, the names Whitey Bulger and Stevie Flemmy came up in conversations secretly recorded by the FBI. On January 22, 1981, Gennaro Angelo explained, Whitey's got the whole of Southie, Stevie's got the whole of the South End. On February 3rd and 4th, 1981, Angelo described both men. In Vinnie Teresa's book, My Life in the Mafia, Steve Flemmy is listed in the glossary as a mob hitman. The final report of the President's Commission on Organized Crime says Whitey Bulger and Stevie Flemmy control organized crime for the Irish gangs in Boston, including drug dealing, loan sharking, and gambling. All that is hearsay, but in 1956, Whitey Bulger was convicted of armed robbery in a Melrose bank heist. In the 60s, Steve Flemmy was twice indicted, once for murder and once for attempted murder. Neither indictment resulted in a conviction. Now, years later, Whitey Bulger and Stevie Flemmy's mother are partners in a real estate venture. When we asked Hi. Mary Flemmy about the property, she Mary referred us Flemmy. to her son. I'm from Channel 2. Are you, are you Stevie Flemmy's mother? Yes. Um, I want to ask you about a piece of property that you bought at 295 Old Colony. Yeah, well, well uh, he's not here right now. No, but speak to him. well, I wanted to speak to you because your name is on the uh, yeah. on the deed. Yeah. Law enforcement officials say they have no reason to believe Mary Flemmy is involved in any criminal activities. Likewise, they emphatically say there is no evidence that Whitey Bulger's brother, Senate President William Bulger, is in any way involved with his brother's reputed criminal activities. Ironically, the Senate President lives right next door to Mary Flemmy in South Boston. While Mary Flemmy, Whitey Bulger, and Kevin Weeks are the co-owners and the landlords of the property on Old Colony Avenue, Stippo's is the tenant, and Stippo's the corporation holds the liquor license. You want to open another one? Yeah. Oddly enough, the law allows practically anyone to get a liquor license, even a convicted felon. But the law also includes a vague clause that licensees be people of good moral character. It doesn't happen often, but if law enforcement officials can prove someone is acting as a straw, a front for the real owner, on a liquor license, that's sufficient grounds for denying or revoking the license. What I'm really asking you to describe is a straw and what you do about straws. Well, it's like uh, trying to keep an arm full of sand with your arms folded. It's pretty difficult. There's always going to be a lot of grains that slip by. Here's what happened uh, in the Stippo's case. When it was first converted from a gas station to a package store in 1983, some community opposition surfaced. But neither the owners of the real estate nor the owners of the new liquor store had any known links to organized crime, and the liquor license was granted. Seven months later, Kevin Weeks emerged, buying both the building and taking over the corporation that controlled the liquor license. That license has been renewed every year since, even though ownership has changed completely. If someone's already got a license, they're routinely renewed uh, in the absence of any evidence to the contrary. Last June, Whitey Bulger and Mary Flemmy bought into the real estate with Kevin Weeks. Weeks alone still controlled the liquor license. You mentioned the distinction between property ownership and liquor license ownership. Um, is it not a logical presumption that whoever owns the property for that place, the South Boston Liquor Mart or a bar or a restaurant that had a liquor license, um, that that property owner is a beneficial interest in the profits generated by 
what's there, what that address is being used for. A liquor license, obviously, is a revenue producer. I'd say that's the, uh, the logical uh, observation, uh, but uh, it's not the uh, legal observation. Unlike Whitey Bulger, Kevin Weeks has no criminal record, but now Weeks is in the midst of his own brush with the law. Last year, when he walked into police headquarters, accompanied by Whitey Bulger, and asked to renew his license to carry a firearm, the police promptly revoked it. Weeks appealed, and in the ensuing court case, Police Commissioner Mickey Roach branded him as an associate of known organized crime figures. The uh, information that we developed uh, relative to the, uh, to the gun permit and the, and the ability to be a suitable person as a licensee uh, may not necessarily intersect, and the, whether or not they do is up to the licensing board. The Boston Licensing Board is a bit preoccupied these days. Last fall, federal agents removed boxes of records in a probe of alleged payoffs to Boston police officers by bar owners. Still, the Licensing Board reacted quickly to the questions raised in this story about stippos. One question is, should Kevin Weeks hold a liquor license in view of his associations? That question could be moot because just nine days before a crucial court hearing on the gun permit and a month before the annual deadline for renewing liquor licenses, Weeks filed for permission to sell Stippo's license to a new corporation in which he is not a principal. The second question is who is really profiting, the tenant Stippo's or the new landlords, Kevin Weeks, Mary Flemmy, and Whitey Bulger. Andrea Gargiulo, the chairwoman of the licensing board, would not grant the 10 o'clock news an on-camera interview. But as a result of the information in our story, she did review the case today. And she announced the board will hold a hearing next month to determine who is really profiting from Stippo's liquor license. It raises eyebrows and we'll be watching them like a hawk. With Tom Sheehan, I'm Christy George for the 10 o'clock news. Can you sit here on the second floor? Yeah, okay, go ahead. Yeah,